What is up, peeps? Hope we're all doing well. Welcome back to an incredible video because it's a big one. FaZe Rain, or I should say uh, former FaZe Rain. It seems that he has now left FaZe Clan. At least he announced he did about a week or so ago. Ever since, but on a rampage of leaking and putting information out there about FaZe Clan signings. We'll talk about that probably sometime soon. Uh, Grace from Stranger Things, he just went ahead and leaked that she was potentially the next FaZe Clan signing. This one, I would say, all the bigger because... Going after Nick Merckx now, exposing information about his alleged salary and much, much more about the FaZe Clan CEO and how they just apparently burn through money as he took to an Instagram story, both in video and several texts I'll read out for you guys about some pretty crazy information and the money that FaZe Clan is spending. First saying, you know FaZe recruited Nick Merckx in 2018 as damage control, their words, not mine, to the Tifa situation, and those idiots have been paying him $1 million a year since. I couldn't think of one memorable moment with Nick Merckx in FaZe, like literally not one. No other FaZe member gets even close to that, by the way. And just like right off the rip, uh, exposing Nick Merckx alleged one million dollars per year salary I, I wouldn't say that is uh you know outside the realm of possibility that people would think uh, one of the biggest streamers on on twitch and certainly the biggest phase clan streamer bringing in you know 40 50 000 concurrence uh when he when he peaks and of course switching from call of duty to apex certainly a very well-known streamer who draws a gigantic price one million dollars per year uh, a lot that's a that's a big chunk of change. But then for Rain to go on and say that he can't think of one notable moment between FaZe Clan and Nick Merckx, I think a lot of people out there could debate this all day long of what streamers actually bring to organizations. Despite that though, I think you could make that argument for any FaZe Clan content member right now, you know, do you really think of FaZe Clan when you think of all of these creators? You know, I, I think of FaZe Jev for his Call of Duty commentary videos. I don't necessarily always think of the, the FaZe part first. I just know he's so consistent at what he does. When you think of other big streamers like XQC, and when he was with LG, I'm sure he was being paid a lot of freaking money. I was never really thinking about Luminosity, so I, I think some people might understand FaZe Rain's point of when you think of Nick Merckx, I think of the brand Nick Merckx because it is so big. I I don't necessarily always think of FaZe Clan and what he has done for FaZe. I'll give Rain that point. I think a lot of people are wondering though, wh what's the end goal here? Why why would you call out Nick Merckx? You leak some FaZe Clan signings, you call out all of FaZe, and now you call out Nick saying that he's, you're pretty much saying he's overpaid and has brought nothing to FaZe. What's your end goal here? Because it's it's a big call out to make. He also said, FaZe loses $700,000 a month on esports. If I read you all the numbers, you guys would lose your mind. We're overextended into how many teams now? They also made the guy who makes the terrible decisions president of FaZe now too. And even more information, he says supposedly, allegedly, the CEO has been lying to everyone for so long. I only get $600,000 a year salary. I took a pay cut to be here. Buddy, you have a guaranteed 600 k bonus on top of your 600 k salary. What about your severance of three to $4 million? After you leave FaZe, for running it into the ground, you get a few more million. Yet some of you idiot phase members have been rocking with bro, so he can maybe write you a check too. Pussy, I promise I'll never forget it. We'll get my revenge. I don't care how long it takes. So obviously some insane comments. We're going to break these down more at length in tomorrow's video because we have a response and other information coming into play uh, as we speak. And we just got off this long flight. There's so many talking points, but all of that combined, you know, leaking Nick Merck's alleged $1 million salary saying he has no notable moments along with FaZe Clan, leaking things on the FaZe CEO saying supposedly his salary and his bonuses he has in place, whether or not he sticks it out with FaZe Clan, how much they burn in esports. There's just so much in information he is now throwing out there that you do got to take it a bit with a grain of salt but on the flip side someone like rain probably knows better than most people out there at least the casuals as to how much these organizations are spending but again every time we talk about phase clan i just wonder where do we go from here like what is next for rain if he keeps on exposing this information and what is the public supposed to take away from this i mean we already know phase clan is struggling this is just adding really a lot more fuel to the fire the craziest part is too the ceo got about like what five six million shares or something like that and it's only because he hired a fuck ton of incompetent staff right like motherfuckers from hbo boomers just boomers that don't get shit right overpays them x man a few hundred thousand dollars a year hundreds of thousands of shares whatever right he causes a mess right and then phase can't afford to pay for these employees so he pays for it out of his own money right he covers the mess that he made and then he gave himself millions of shares for it I buy a Counter-Strike team for us, 
When we need it, that's only a blessing. That's not even a mess. I just actually added something to the team. I get nothing out. Nothing. Not even a dollar. I don't even get my money back. And I'm going to leave you guys on one question. We'll come back sometime very soon to break down all of this information on Rain is Calling Out involving Nick Merckx, involving FaZe Clan. Catch us right back here bright and early tomorrow morning. We'll talk at length about it. But what do you guys think about this? FaZe Rain seemingly calling out not just FaZe Clan, not just their CEO, also kind of Nick Merckx on top of that. This is not what I expected days after he was leaking signings. It just keeps on going down. And, and so too does this phase in all of this. I just, uh, I wonder what's next. Till next time though, take care of yourselves, drink up. We'll catch you back here sometime very soon. Uh, please subscribe.